Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the MSI GS43 VR Phantom Pro. For those of you guys who don't know, the Phantom Pro is a thin line of gaming laptops from MSI, but this one features a killer 1060M, so let's see if it's worth picking up. MSI gives you this beautiful black box with red lettering on top. Here you got some paperwork talking about the 10 series chips and some warranty information. Next up, here goes your beautiful MSI laptop. And last but not least, here goes your AC adapter, user manual on your CD, and some more documentation. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and break down the specs. You're getting an Intel Core i7-6700HQ, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 14-inch Full HD IPS panel, NVIDIA GTX 1060M, and the retail price is $14.99. The exterior of this laptop features this beautiful black brush aluminum finish that looks gorgeous. It is a fingerprint magnet, so beware. The weight comes in at a pretty reasonable 3.75 pounds, and the stickiest point is 0.87 inches. The bottom panel is made out of plastic, and there's also five rubber grips, and the top side is your exhaust ports. The interior looks pretty clean, but it's also deceiving. The palm rest is actually made out of plastic, but it kind of looks like that brushed aluminum finish on the exterior. On the left side of the laptop, you got your RJ45 Ethernet, charging port, USB 3, SD card reader, microphone input, and your headset input. On the right side, you got your USB Type-C, an additional USB 3, full-size HDMI, exhaust vent, and your security lock slot. In the back side, you got your mini display port. The bottom panel is easy to remove, however, doing so will break the MSI seal and also void your warranty for some odd reason. You'll have access to an M.2 SSD, a standard 2.5 inch hard drive, and your two RAM slots. The build quality on the GS43 is pretty rock solid. The brushed aluminum lid is pretty tough. There are no weird creaks, sounds, or any kind of that nature. Overall, the MSI GS43 features a solid foundation on build quality. The only exception is the minor keyboard flex. This laptop's rocking a 14-inch Full HD IPS panel that's rock solid. The colors are vivid, color accuracy is great. Overall, this display has exceeded my expectations. Thanks to the IPS panel here, the viewing angles are superb. MSI really hooked it up on this model on the screen quality. And also, I like the anti-glare coating on here as it does a great job of reducing glare. This laptop has the quad-core beast, which is the Core i7-6700HQ. This chip can tear through anything. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 Pascal GPUs. Man, the performance from these chips has been breathtaking. These new Pascal chips offer so much horsepower it's almost to their desktop counterparts. You can expect to play all the AAA high-end games on high settings at 1920x1080p with ease. Here's a quick test of Battlefield 4 running on Ultra at 1920x1080p. So far I'm getting an average around 75 to 90 frames per second, which is a big increase compared to the 960M, which would get around 55 to 65 frames per second on high settings. After some extended gameplay, for thin and light notebook, the temperatures remain pretty efficient. Towards the back is going to be the hottest point at around 55 to 57 degrees Celsius, and the WASD keys came in at around 44 to 45 degrees Celsius. The cooling and efficiency of the 1060M in this thin and light laptop was pretty efficient. On average, the GPU temperature was around 80 degrees Celsius, and that's with 45 minutes of Battlefield 4 gameplay. After playing Battlefield 4, the fans will start to roar at around 50 to 52 decibels. During light to medium loads, you can expect around 38 to 40 decibels. I was a bit disappointed in MSI for including a lot of bloatware in this laptop. Thankfully, you can remove them easily. The keyboard is provided by SteelSeries, and it offers great tactile feedback, excellent key travel, and the overall typing experience has been enjoyable. Yes, you do get a backlit keyboard, there's two options, low and high. I was a bit disappointed there's not no multiple color options like the other high-end MSI laptops. The trackpad is pretty large and spacious, however the downside here is that you have to press down very firmly to get a click. Tracking is good, two finger scrolling is smooth and precise, and multi-touch is on point. Overall this trackpad deserves pretty good praise. Battery life is acceptable on a 14 inch gaming laptop. I'm able to get around 3.5 to 4.5 hours out of full charge with medium screen brightness and that's with casual usage. If you plan on gaming on the battery pack, expect around an hour and 20 to an hour and 30 minutes. There are two front facing speakers and the sound quality is adequate. It is missing that low end kick because of the absence of a subwoofer. Here's a quick sound test in action, I'm gonna start at 50%. What's up guys, test out the webcam on the MSI GS43. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright guys, let's get to the conclusion of the MSI GS43 laptop. This laptop features an incredible amount of horsepower, especially with the all new 1060 GPU. 
you're almost getting desktop level performance right here in a thin and light package at 3.75 pounds. My only cons here is the lack of a custom RGB backlit keyboard like the higher end MSI laptops and the annoying bloatware pop-ups that seem to hurt the overall system performance. Besides that, this is a great 14 inch gaming laptop. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to stomp on that like button and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for the continued support and I'll catch you guys next time.